Finally, I can announce today that we will next week open a new hospital, a temporary hospital, the NHS Nightingale Hospital at the Excel Centre in London. The NHS Nightingale Hospital will comprise two wards, each of 2,000 people, with the help of the military and with NHS clinicians, we will make sure that we have the capacity that we need so that everyone can get the support they need. When it comes to the tube, the first, uh, the best answer is that Transport for London should have the tube running in full so that the people travelling on the tube are and are spaced out and can be uh, further apart, obeying the two metre rule wherever possible. Um, and there is uh, there's no good reason in the information that I've seen that the current levels of tube, uh, tube provision uh, should be as low as they are. We should have more tube trains running. Of course, it really matters for getting people back to work. So we've now bought three and a half million antibody tests. That will allow people to see whether they have had the virus and are immune to it and then can get back to work. And you might have seen in the, in the Commons earlier, I was sat next to Nadine Doris because she now has had uh, coronavirus and she, can, um, and, and she is for the time being uh, immune to it because we expect the uh, people not to be able to catch it except in very exceptional circumstances uh, for a second.